In this video, we try out an awesome mod. We use our laser machine to create a housing for an internal PC LCD screen and then show you different ways to utilize it. The parts for the LCD screen housing were cut out on our Trotec laser. I used 8 inch black acrylic for the material. I planned to wrap the housing in a flat black vinyl, but in case I made any mistakes and if any of the parts were visible under the vinyl, I figured the housing would look better being the same color as the vinyl. I had to remove the paper mask that came on the acrylic to protect it. I only removed the sides that were going to be seen first. I taped the parts together to get ready for gluing. I used a thicker gap filling acrylic glue on all the seams. I then taped the top of the housing to the assembly and ran some water thin acrylic cement along the edges. I removed the tape and the rest of the acrylic's protective mask. It looked pretty good, but I wasn't happy that the edges weren't completely smooth, so I, I ran some sandpaper along the edges to get everything more uniform. I added some pieces of double-sided adhesive to the screen. Because of the screen thickness, I ended up needing to use a few pieces at each corner. This way, the screen would be flush with the housing when inserted. After removing the liner from the adhesive strips, I inserted the screen into the housing. I kept the screen's protective film on it to protect it, but like an idiot, I didn't make sure the film's peel strip was exposed. Oh, you idiot! I used an X-Acto knife to get the trapped peel strip out without damaging the screen, but that was pretty, pretty stupid. <laughs> I just really got lucky I didn't scratch the screen. I removed the final pieces of acrylic mask the housing was still a little dusty on the edges from the sanding. I added some magnetic strips to the back. This really wasn't necessary, but I wanted to see if this would work to hold the screen in place in my home PC, which had a perfect spot in the back that was all made of metal. I cleaned up the sides with some matte black vinyl. I was originally going to wrap the entire housing in matte black vinyl, but ended up only doing the sides. That had more to do with the glass screen being partly black. I thought it might look weird with a part glossy black screen and matte black housing. There were two cables that needed to be plugged in, the HDMI and micro USB power cable. For both of these, I bought right angle versions to save a little space. Links to the cables I used will be in the description below. I didn't show it, but you do need to run the HDMI cord out of your case to plug it into your graphics card on the back. The micro USB cable I got had a 5 pin connector on the other end. I could have gotten just a regular USB connector, but then I'd be running two cables out of the computer to plug in the back. This way the install would be a little cleaner by plugging the 5 pin USB cable directly into the motherboard. I had to do some digging to find out how to plug it in though. A diagram I found online shows the orientation. You can also see how I plugged it into my motherboard's USB header here. Once the hardware part is all done and everything is plugged in, there are really just two things you need to do to get this all configured. The first is setting the screen up in Windows. 
Go to your Windows display settings and also turn off the option to show the taskbar in all displays. It seems that most people will do one of two things with this display. You can either use it to display a moving wallpaper or image, or use it to display your PC's hardware stats in real time. The trick to setting up an animated wallpaper on your screen is to get an app called Wallpaper Engine. You can get this on Steam. It was about $4 when I downloaded it. The software is pretty straightforward. You just need to find and select the images you want and make sure you apply them specifically to this display. Depending on the wallpaper, you can make color, size, and position adjustments. One thing to keep in mind though, these little LCD screens don't have a good viewing angle. So if it's mounted in your case such that you're seeing it from more, a more extreme angle, it's not going to look that good. I'm just running through some examples here to give you an idea what you can do with this. By the way, this looks a lot better in person. These just didn't translate good on film, or I just have no idea what I'm doing here. I also installed this in my home PC in a portrait layout. If you want to use the screen to monitor your PC stats in real time, you can download a free app called Ada64. The link will be in the description below. You can customize your own display panel, but I just grabbed a few user built ones to give you an idea what you can do with it. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think and if you've ever thought about doing a project like this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notified of future projects. We have more computer mods coming soon. Stay tuned.